The opinions expressed in this video are my own and not those of SMA News Today, its parent company BioNews, or any other organization. These videos are intended to spark discussion about issues pertaining to spinal muscular atrophy and are not meant to be professional medical advice. Now, enjoy the video. Welcome to Dose of DN, where you'll get a little shot of what my life is like living with SMA. Recently, I had one of those long days where you wear an adult brief because you know you're going to spend eight hours in the car and you have an event that you're going to that's going to take a few hours so you don't know when your next bathroom break is going to be. You mean that's not what you do? I know other people uh, who have disabilities, there are other options like an SPC, a catheter, uh, maybe they're able to transfer or they can use, uh, if there's adult changing tables available, they can use those. But for me, this seemed the best option because I had my service dogs recertification and to me, that was something important that I needed to do. It was in Sioux Falls, which is about four hours away. I wasn't able to attend the closer recertification earlier that year, so this was my next option. And we made it there. My mom doesn't like driving in big cities, but these were backcountry roads, so uh, it was somewhat easier driving. And then when we got there, this is what we encountered. We made it to the Sioux, no, yeah, Sioux Falls Mall. And we just got here. I was hoping we could practice pushing the door openers, but look at what's in front of the door. That's good. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Unfortunately, barriers like this are all too common. Countless times I've run into either some kind of container being under the button or the button not even being turned on. Thankfully, I was able to move that container out of the way. Whether or not it's been moved back, I don't know because I live four hours away. I hope that it clicks that buttons like this should be barrier free. But it hasn't gotten to that point just yet. Horton passed his recertification, and I was even able to meet a college friend of mine and her family for lunch. It was really fun to see her, and we were taking pictures, but Mom accidentally was in video. Oh, mine's a video. You have to say something. Mine's <laughs> <laughs> a video. Yeah. It ended up being a great day, despite the barriers. I don't let a few challenges like having to hold it for 11 hours or a container being under a door opener ruin my day. Yes, it does make it more challenging, but if it's something important like my service dog's recertification, I'm going to make it happen and I find ways around those barriers. What do you do when barriers arrive? Leave a comment below or head on over to the forums at smanewstoday.com forward slash forums and we can talk about it. But that's all I have for you today. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.